Today is on the new appointed Chief Justice of Nigeria and the comments of former President Olusha Gwambasojo on his running mate. Before we move on, we'll be right back. K Links TV, the leading experience. Yeah, we're back now. Like I said, our topic today is on. You're welcome. How uh, the new CJ recently he was sworn in. Justice Olu Oluaka or the Ariwala was sworn in by as the uh, by the president, uh, number one citizen, President Momodu Buhari. Mm. Following that was following the resignation of Justice Ibrahim Tanko based on health issues. Yeah. The new acting CG will be the third acting uh, the third CJ to be appointed by this present administration, the administration being led by President Muhammadu Buhari. <coughs> And he is from Oyo State, from his saying Oyo State. He does a, a little lowdown, a brief about him. He's from Oyo State, from his saying he's, he was born 1958. But there are challenges. The reason why we have to, there are a lot of challenges concerning the judiciary system in Nigeria. Yeah. The judiciary system in Nigeria has been faced with different kinds of problems which Nigerians will want to see if the needs new CJ though acting will be able as the capability to solve some of the problems. Let me say some of the problems that I which you also are aware of. Some of the problems I, I people used to talk about are delayed court cases. That court cases take so much time before judgments are given and these has been some of the issues that people are worried about. Can you give us a, a your from your own angle, how do you see the new CJ and his capability? Do you see him coming out to break the jinx? Because I think he's he should <laughs> break the jinx of these delayed cases, delayed cases, court cases. Well, uh, thank you very much. You're yeah, welcome. I, um, it's nice to hear that uh, mm. there's a new CJ in town. And um, how I look at it is this. How I will look at it is this. Um, there are a great level or measure of expectations for the judiciary in Nigeria if you understand what I'm trying to talk about. And um, I don't know why all of a sudden CJs will resign before their time. A lot of rumors, they, they, when they do that, they, are, they give room to a lot of rumors. But he said they're on health issues, on health issues, that's based on health issues. All of them always... Um, <laughs> Are you doubting the health issues? That's not the issue. The okay. issue is the rumors that are going around. You know, some of us feel that in every rumor... There must be an out of yeah, truth. Yeah, an element of uh, truth. But coming down to what you have raised, the issue you are raising, that what... Will this man have the capacity to deal with the issue of uh, delayed justice? that is the order of the day in Nigeria. Well, the, the truth of the matter is that when you don't have a, I mean the, uh, a judiciary that deals with uh, the issue of justice quickly, then it is not satisfactory enough. 
you know there's an adage which says that uh, delayed uh, justice, justice is delayed, uh -huh. is, uh, justice delayed mm -hmm. is like um, uh, no justice at all. Mm -hmm. For these reasons, I will expect that um, the judiciary, because he cannot act alone, mm -hmm. uh, it's very important that he present, he provides a sound leadership mm -hmm. for the for the judiciary in Nigeria. They have to be bold and they have to be exemplarily courageous hmm. so that they will be able to deliver justice and then um, should not care or should care less whose God Ox is God. Ox is God. Hmm. So these are great challenges in the Nigeria that we are living today where even clergymen are not safe. I don't know how intimidated he could become in the face of uh, of uh, intimidation. Maybe is it, if from, the intimidation could be from the from the political class, class mm -hmm. from the society. Mm -hmm. It could be religious mm -hmm. because uh, look at the little issue of um, hijab that uh, the Supreme Court decided a few days back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from that time, mm -hmm. there's a trending uh, lawyer going around wearing every manner of uh, regalia to church. I mean, to, traditional, to, like a traditionalist. To the courts, mm -hmm. insisting that, in, 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 not, in another way, he's trying to tell that he's in disagreement, mm -hmm. showed his disagreement with the ruling of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. So, I, that everybody I, has the freedom to wear any attire because of that because of the judgment. judgment. Mm. That means because I, judgment seems to be confusing, or, of or course, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure that's not the intention of, of, the, the, of, of the honorable uh, uh, court of I mean, the Supreme Court. But he stated it as they said everybody has the right to <laughs> go along as a Nigerian in attires that befits or is religious, whatever. So he said, okay, I can come to court in this attire too. That's so is it not confusing, sort of? That's what he's implying mm -hmm. by the judgment of the Supreme Court, his own interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. But to get back to the to issue of uh, the, new the new CJ, the expectation uh, on the judiciary in Nigeria is so high. And I wouldn't want to say that they, that, I mean, a lot of people believe that they've not been living up to expectations. We had news, I mean, we have stories of, um, uh, Corrupt, of, of, of corruption. corruption. Mm -hmm. And even the last two judges, mm. I mean, CJs, mm. As of uh, uh, a a rumor, mm, alleged to be under uh, even uh, the present one, the the, the the former, not the present one. Sorry, the ex, the, the, the one, one that just left. He had cases, he had bruises uh, with fourteen justice, justice. That's the, another mm -hmm. entirely. Entirely, the, the, the fourteen mm, other uh, the, judges of the Supreme Court, court mm. are insisting that he's not been providing good leadership for them. Yes, they are and, and, they are and, and not allegations with it. They are allegations of corruption. They are, they are allegations, allegations of, of their welfare, uh, welfareism as well. Oh, uh, yes. Can we? You know, we can also see that there have been allegations. If we are say, talking about not allegations, if we are talking about the performance of justice, justices. In Nigeria, in the, in the judiciary, the former, how will you see this? The former, if the former, a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, OCJ Okocha, son, senior advocate of Nigeria. Recently, in his reaction to the resignation of the um, Justice Tanko, he said. Why sympathizing with him on his health issues? He wishing him quick recovery and long life. He made an, and he said, but these allegations, there are weighty allegations against him that NJC, the National Judicial Commission, will look into it. That, that is, it won't be swept under the carpet. That's one. 
And further, he came out to point it out that the judiciary itself, not him, the former, the immediate path to the uh, Justice Ibrahim Tanko. Okay. That is Onoge. Justice Walter Onoge. Onoge. Okay. He made the allegation that the judiciary is poorly funded. He said justices are living in poor poor conditions. He said they are still living in rented accommodations in Abuja. He said even the chambers all these things are he's saying that the judiciary itself is not being funded by the federal, the, the government of the day. And he's saying that it is still like that. It has been like that. He said since 2008, where they had a welfare package, they did something to upgrade the welfare of justice. And it hasn't been looked into till today. Now, he's not saying that if care is not taken, soon I caught I courts of this country will turn to glorify a uh, court. That you will just find out that these places are not more than a place you can, that is not befitting. So when we are now talking about competence, competence of this justice, won't we look at what is being provided for them, their welfare, living in unconducive environment? Hmm. So. Well, how will you react to all this from the ex um, justice, chief justice of the of Nigeria? How will you see it? Will you see it from the view of from your own view? Would it be from the view of the justice or from the side of the government? That's why I'm saying the government of the from their own side. Well, the truth must be said that um, government must uh, provide enabling environment for. Justice to be to be delivered appropriately, mm. without uh, prejudice of any kind. Nevertheless, I, I sometimes I laugh when um, because of what we hear about mm. I mean about judges when they mm. say that they live in rented apartments, apartments and so on and so forth. It makes me laugh because um, well, on a lighter mood now. Mm -hmm. Aren't they the richest Nigerians? Who? Nigerian judges. Judges? Are they not part of the, the, the very rich? Now, <laughs> I, uh, perhaps they are, but I have to look at their so, um, <laughs> salary scale. I have to look at a lot of things that well, you meant by being rich. Well, I, I would have to look at it, but if they stay in. Uh, but I'm only saying well, that. If, if somebody is saying that they will face um, uh, interrogation for corruption. Then that person is not talking about their salaries. He didn't, he didn't talk about their salaries. I'm only saying that if he, what he's saying is true, won't that encourage uh, kickbacks? That's exactly what we're trying to say. Perhaps that's the reason why, why he says why, why he's saying so. <laughs> because um, I mean, uh, there are a lot of insinuations in Nigeria that law, I mean, justice has been perverted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, for me, I think um, one day if judiciary can go back on some of these cases and review them, I mean, it will, it will bring a lot of honor back to the judiciary. Then that means the, the ball is in the court of the new... The new the, and that's the reason why mm -hmm. government may not respect them and treat them the way... Uh, uh, the, uh, is it Tanku now or Onoge? No, is it Ali Wola now? Has, no, has Alei. You know, oh, no, no, is it Onoge? Yes, mm -hmm. Onoge. Because um, let me tell you, if government tell, can tell a judge do this and the judge is doing that, mm -hmm. and it tells the other one do that and they are doing it, they will not respect that. Mm -hmm. But if in the face of whatsoever difficulty, judges are putting their foot down, mm -hmm. irrespective of who's got whose ox will be God, mm. then I tell you, they will begin to respect them. It might even make government <laughs> remember Set them, them on the toes, <laughs> on the toes. <laughs> and give them the Ooh. kind of environment that they, really, they, they would need. But what we have today is a different thing. Now. But we have a new man in the... Now that, we have, Sadu, yeah. now that we have a new man, mm. then you can be sure that this is from this, it's from this premises that 
every Nigerian will be looking at him. Hey, all eyes on him. All eyes on the new CJ. CJ here now. And it doesn't take long for him to to really show the, Ooh, kind, of the kind of like um, the like the the candidate of the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress. Okay, Ashwa Jubola Metinobu. During in his congratulatory message to the new Chief Justice of Nigeria, he said he believes in him based on his competence and integrity. That's his antecedents. So he said he should bring all this into the into the judiciary at the ends of the judiciary affair. Now we've talked about our new boss at the judiciary, those that we interpret the law. It is how he steers this for the two uh, is the judiciary vehicle that will spell the kind of leadership he will he tell us the kind of leadership he really has in stock. Mm. Now, secondly, there is this political uh, issue now, whereby altercations is about to be brewing. Is brewing. This is about our former president Olusegun Obasanjo, the Ebola of. <laughs> Based on his recent comment that he regretted that he, was, he, he almost regretted the kind of running mate that he chose in 1999 towards 1999 in 1998 towards 1999 presidential election that he won <clears throat> and he has been and the, 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 he did not in quote he did not mention name he didn't mention any name. But Nigerians, uh, they can re read the handwriting on the wall. They, they are reading between the lines. They can read between the lines that the only person you must be referring to <laughs> is the presidential candidate <laughs> of the People's Democratic Party, who is your running mate in person of Alaji Atiku Abubakar. That, that's the person you are referring to because that's the only running mate that you have. This has made the PDP Walid, the chairman of the board of trustee of the party, to now give the president 48 hours to clarify. Perhaps the, the statement he made was based on mis he was being misquoted or he really made it that without doing this, they are going to spill the beans too. They tell Nigerians the kind of person the former president is truly is. Sir? It, 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 it's for the 48 hours not over. I think it, I think 48 hours. He did that on Saturday. Yes. Uh, Obama Sojong made the statement on Saturday while, uh, while attending to secondary school students that came for an exhibition at his library, Obama Sojong Presidential Library in Abelkuta. He made it and he said it's kind of he only said about two he said two things he regretted about that of Sonia Abacha then that he was let's leave that with the issue now is about his running mate, which because Atiku is contesting the uh, presidential election, twenty twenty three election. So the PDP has has told him Atiku helped you. Atiku was part of the people that assisted you in becoming the president. And they even said According to the chairman of the board of trustees of the party, that's Walid Jubril, he said, he said to Walid Jubril, he said, it was because of the third term bid, that third term bid of President Obasanjo, that that is why the former president, that is why he's at Atiku's neck. Now, well, um, um, Obasanjo seems to be a kind of nemesis to Atiku. Hmm. And um, he had done that successfully mm. in the past. Mm -hmm. And um, he has a way of um, throwing uh, stones, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And um, uh, what I feel is this because I, I've sat down and thought about this. Mm -hmm. what, why is he, why, why is Obasanjo vehemently? 
against Tatiko. Do not say you hear from a mouth. I know everybody's <laughs> hearing now. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, this, he, do, no, this time he didn't mention, he didn't any, mention any name. And all of us are, we feel that he's referring to Atiku. Mm -hmm. But wait a minute. Who else is who else was his He's running mate. Was his uh, running mate mm -hmm. and, uh, and VP. Now, um, before Atiku mm -hmm. uh, take this uh, decision, he went to see Obasanjo. For and reconciliation. Uh, for reco then, for, he had mm. reconciled with Obasanjo many, many, many times. Time but this time around, again, he went there to okay. pacify him. Let me put it that way. Okay. <laughs> you know, because you know you call him Ebora. Okay. Know. So he doesn't want the Ebora to trouble <laughs> him. <laughs> and when you call somebody Ebora, Ebora is a demon. No, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the interpretation. No, when you say Ebora. Ebora. That's a demon. I think he's a deity. Deity. Ebora. Okay. Ebora will be a Let's, deity. Let's leave that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, and what they do is trouble you. Oh, and he didn't want that. So immediately he decided that he was going to run for president. For the president of the, Niger, of the nation, he went to see Obasanjo, and I, I under, my understanding was that he received him well. Well, but now this story that is coming up, I mean, as if maybe forgiven. maybe it's a misunderstanding. I don't know. Until we because listen to you, his you won't, own. you cannot. I mean, the fact that uh, Obasanjo is supporting Atiku. Doesn't mean that Robert Sanjo will not air his opinion. You know, it's too big for somebody. Mm. To, I mean, for somebody who will have an opinion, and he will not be able to express it. Okay. What he said was to warn those children that in the future, mm. when you are about to take a deposition, don't underrate. Don't say it is a little position. Mm -hmm. I am the main person. Mm. Don't say that. Be careful of what you are going. Of, your of decision. Who you are going, going to, to take. Take and trust because. In my own case, hmm. I didn't do that, and I'm re and I regretted it. Said they said because he was a genuine regret, <laughs> so God for God <laughs> I helped him. Now let's leave the issue of the Ebola, the elf, the deity, the demon. Uh, is called, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we only have to wait for Obasanjo's response to the PDP's allegations or whatever. Nigerians will, will want to hear from him. What will be his response? Will he now come out boldly and tell us who he's referring to? Or will he say he has been misquoted like the PDP um, BOT? What are to believe? Uh, be, seems to believe because it's presently nobody knows. But perhaps but he was misquoted. Perhaps he wasn't misquoted. With time, we'll get. But then we can. Take a little bit. You can look at the matter a little bit further, mm -hmm. because in the camp of so the, uh, the opponent of uh, mm. Atiku, for to them, Obasanjo is uh, is right. Is um, a campaigning against Atiku. I'm advising Nigerians not to vote for him. No, don't follow Atiku. Mm. How do you see it, sir? I don't know. <laughs> but who? But he didn't. Who will he now advise Nigerians to follow? No, he if has. He, he has already made a statement. Like, I, if I remember, that power should go to the southeast. He has made that. I he and the Afeniferi, they had made that I, statement. I remember that. But he has not even come out now to, to say, say yeah. is it Peter or B because it's from the east? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is that it? He has a it. lot of people from. So the we southeast. we now we keep our fingers crossed, like you have said. Yes. Thank you very much for watching. We will always we we have to resound and resound it again. If you have not registered for your voters' card, you have not obtained your voters' your card, your PVC. Quickly do that. <clears throat> and if you have not collected yours, kindly, kindly do. This is. Like the Yoruba will say something that Agba Jowo, Afisoya, all these hands can we do like this to be proud of ourselves. Let us be proud that I want to be part of the decision in choosing the next president.
Thank you once again. We will soon be back. From me, mm. Kayo de Olorun Dari, yeah. I would like to say that mm. it is bye bye for now. K-Links TV, the leading experience.